Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to make a one pot wonder of chicken parm pasta. I love how much you guys love one pot wonders and how well you respond to them. And I think it's important to remember that for me, at the end of the day, I'm just like all of you. I'm busy, I've got lots of things going on, so there are days when even I wanna get just one pot dirty and I crave comfort food and this recipe fits that bill so perfectly. I think you're really gonna love it. The list of ingredients is short and sweet and they're very basic. You need chicken breasts, you could also use thighs. And I just chopped them up into about one inch chunks, maybe a little bigger. Penne pasta, you can use any medium cut pasta you like. I've got some crushed tomatoes, lots of onions and garlic, lots of freshly grated parm, salt and pepper, Italian seasoning. You're also going to need some shredded mozzarella, which I'll, take, I'll grab in just a little bit, and some olive oil and water. That's it, easy. What I have here is my big pan with a bit of olive oil in there preheating over about medium high heat. To that, I'm gonna add my chicken. Now, I, I try to get rid of as much fat as possible. And I'm going to cook my chicken until it starts to develop a little bit of color. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through. In fact, it won't be cooked all the way through, which is fine, because we're just gonna keep it cooking with everything else anyway. So I'm gonna let that go for just a few minutes and then we'll add in the onion and the garlic. Chicken's looking good. All right, now I'm gonna add my onion and my garlic. Like I said, don't worry if it's not all colored all over. It'll be fine, it's gonna be delicious. Add a bit of salt and pepper at this point, and then just continue to cook everything until the onions, and onions and pepper, or onions and garlic become translucent. You know, they cook down and develop a little bit of color. Just keep an eye on them. All right, now you're gonna add your crushed tomatoes. If you want to, instead of adding the onion and the garlic and sauteing it and all, just use some pre-made marinara sauce and it saves you a step, but I can, always find a little bit of time for some chopage of some garlic and some onion. The water, the crushed tomatoes, the Italian seasoning. And now I'm gonna add about a half a cup of my parm at this stage. Give that a really good stir. Bring this to a boil. Let it simmer for about, I would say, 15 minutes or so. And then we'll move on to the next step. It's been simmering for about 15 minutes. At this point, I'm gonna add my pasta right in. Give that a stir. I'm gonna season it with some salt because I tasted the soupy part, I guess, you know, the broth. And it does need a little bit more salt, especially since you're adding the starchy pasta to it. Now I'm gonna put a lid on and let this cook for about 10 minutes or so or until the pasta is fully cooked. That looks perfect. It took about 12 minutes with the lid on for my pasta to cook fully. It's still nice and al dente, which is how I like it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of the parm on top because it is chicken parm pasta after all. And I'm gonna sprinkle some shredded mozz right over the top. I just turned the heat down to low, as low as it will go. Cause I don't want it on too, too high. I just wanna make sure that, you know what? Let's live. Let's just live. I'm gonna put the lid on and let that go for a few minutes until the cheese is fully melted. I mean, have you seen a more beautiful sight? I mean, aside from this, I'm kidding. I mean, look at that. It is like, I can't even, I can't even. I'm just gonna dish up because this is ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, I mean, who needs to make chicken parm anymore when you can make this? Very cheesy, but who cares? Definitely top this with some fresh basil, maybe even a little extra grating of parm if you want to. I will when I serve it, but this needs to be applied to face right now. Mm. There are no words. It's so good, look, there's not a smidge of broth or liquid or anything. It's like perfectly cooked. Super comforting, quick, easy, and very basic ingredients used, which I love because you might already have all of these on hand. 
in your fridge and pantry. So go to lauraandthekitchen.com to get the written recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Make this this week and make sure you share a photo on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whichever you prefer so that I can see it and drool because by the time you make this, I probably won't have any on hand anymore. <laughs> hope you've enjoyed spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.